Dr. EJ here getting ready to record uh, the Wellness Wheels first ever uh, meal prep video. This was Sheila's idea so hopefully it goes well but it's typically what I do um, every single day so I'll give you a few tips of how I season my food, um, how I measure out my food and how I essentially how I cook it. So stay tuned we're getting ready to start here shortly. We're cutting some stuff today in the kitchen. You know what we should do? We should put some stilettos. <laughs> stilettos in the kitchen. Oh, we can do that today. Yeah. Oh, crap. Sexy doctor, sexy nurse. Welcome back to the Wellness Wheel. I'm Dr. Ebony January, OBGYN. And I'm registered nurse Sheila Cuthia. So today we took it out of the studio and into the kitchen. We want to show you guys how we meal prep uh, to give you guys a few hints as to, to how easy it is to really meal prep. So Super. yeah, so we got some chicken thighs and for most people you can use the same recipe uh, with chicken breast. I try to switch it up just a little bit just because chicken breast is sometimes get a little bit bored with it. Chicken thighs have a little bit more fat, but that's okay. Some fat is okay in your diet. We got some sweet potatoes here, which we'll show you how to cook. We got zucchini and squash there. And then these are some of our seasonings, uh, some of the seasonings that I use um, that I think are really good, especially if you're trying to watch your salt intake. So if you have hypertension, high blood pressure, um, or just retain a lot of uh, fluid, then mostly all of these will really uh, be just fine for a low sodium diet. So we got a little bit of cayenne pepper, crushed peppers. I like spicy food personally, so. Uh, right, paprika, also chili powder, which I did not get, but uh, I usually also cook with chili powder. Some garlic powder here, and then Himalayan sea salt, people. Look at that. Say that Close three up times. That. Himalayan <laughs> sea salt. And I wanted to take this as a, just a little time to talk about Himalayan sea salt um, because there's been a huge craze about it. There have been a ton of studies about Himalayan sea salt because it is very beneficial. It's beneficial to the circulation. It's helpful for the respiratory system, and also it doesn't have that. It doesn't increase your sodium level as much as regular salt, um, and also your blood sugar level. So it's really good for that for women. It's helpful for cramps, um, even sexual fun function. So that's the gynecologist. Ooh, and we have to throw that in for you guys. Right, right. You're welcome. Right. That means some Himalayan sea salt, and um, you know, Move once on. you get it, you try it. You know, comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, whether it's been beneficial to you or not. I really like to get some reviews. So. Got that going. We got a little bit of spray olive oil here. Um, we got some onion that Nurse Sheila will be cutting up. Not me. I've already. I've, I've done, done my job. She's done her job. So let me get job. some. So she's get that going. And while she's getting that going, I'm going to start with the sweet potato because what I'm going to make is a vegetable medley. Um, this is my famous vegetable medley. I know it's famous to me. Um, but I like to get the yams going because they take a little bit longer to cook. So um, it was really important for people to know that it does not have to take a long, long time to meal prep. But preparation is key if you want to lose weight, if you want to keep your weight down. Preparation is key and it should not take hours and hours and hours on end. So we'll get these going here. Right. And uh, so everybody likes just enough really to cover the pan. You don't really want the vegetables to stick here. Um, and so I'll get that a little bit warmed up. So nice and warm from the smoke. Lord Jesus. I, I've never cooked on this stove. And in my defense, I'm not a huge fan of electric stoves. I'm a huge fan of gas stoves. Like this situation. But I gotta do what I gotta do. Gotta anyway, do gotta, gotta work for Put your sweet potatoes on in. Ah. Oh yeah. Kind of I like to spread them out a little bit. Make sure that I try and get the big ones in the middle because uh, the middle is where it cooks a little bit uh, more thoroughly those in and so I like to cook those for about five to ten minutes longer than um, the zucchini squash because those take a little bit longer to cook. Got our cayenne pepper here that'll be the first thing going in and what we did not record is that we did wash our hands. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Right. So we made sure we washed our hands first. So this is a nice amount of chicken so Right, and I, I teach my kids to wash their hands and sing the ABC song. So you wet first, apply soap, sing the ABC, then put the water on, take a paper towel, turn the faucet off. Proper hand wash kids. So how they know how to wash their hands and they know their ABC. And they know their ABC. 
Now some people get stuck. That's <laughs> peaceful. <laughs> Elemental people. Yeah. Right. That's right. been a struggle for me for many years. Right. Why? Okay. Okay. Top. Let me turn it down a little bit lower. It's on eight. Go ahead and turn it on six. It's getting our chicken season here. Got our cayenne, paprika, crushed peppers. I really love these. I'm actually gonna take the lid off because they are a little bit bigger. Yeah, and we got a decent amount of chicken here. So how um, long do you uh, plan on having your prep out? How many days do you have? So I usually prep out for three days or so, no more than that. Um, otherwise it can, you know, you just get the monotony get tired of it so um, sometimes I will cook two different things um, that way I'm not I'm gonna get burnt out and then less likely to cheat that's another thing you want to mix things up quite a bit because right. if you continue to eat the same thing over and over and over again I guarantee you you will cheat I've been there especially with chips but you know a skinny pop is good I like skinny pop that's oh, really yeah. good um, oh yeah we definitely eat um, yes. skinny pop in my house yes and then also with the Himalayan sea salt, you do not need as much salt, uh, otherwise it would be uh, really too salty. So mm -hmm. um, whatever you typically put with the regular salt, you might want to add that. So. There's an Indian salt too. Uh, is that a black salt or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it does the same thing with the Himalayan. I have to find out what that is. Yeah, I'm understand. reading that. But don't just take my word for Himalayan sea salt. I want you guys to do your own research. Um, and always, you know, comment below and tell me what you think. But there have been really, really good studies on Himalayan sea salt uh, for everything. Like I said, respiratory function, circulatory function, um, your blood sugar levels as well. Especially for people who, you know, most people, if you have diabetes, you tend to have high blood pressure too. So um, if you want to kill two birds with one stone, Himalayan sea salt. When do you want to get the onions? So Sheila's mixing up the sweet potatoes here. The one thing is sometimes that non-stick butter will uh, dry out pretty quickly. So sometimes you got to spray just a little bit more. So in a little bit, I'll spray just a little bit more. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get this pan to cool down. And then we'll put our chicken in. So you also uh, left a little bit of skin on the sweet potato. Right. For the nutritional value. Yeah. That's a good thing. Remember, because I know we're just like, you know, sometimes we, well, depending on how our parents cook, we cook like that. So mm -hmm. This is a very healthy way of cooking the potatoes. Mm -hmm. You have your Pandora when you're cooking. Yeah, you do. And when you're working out. Now the other day I was working out and uh, I had it on the future section. I just lift it. I only throw it when I'm working out. Right. And gospel came on. Pedro, I'm like, what are you doing? Well, I listen up. So today I had my uh, my gospel. Gospel on my guitar. I had my gospel on today. But then they probably started playing some rap music on the gospel station. Pedro, get it together. Well, I didn't have Pedro. I'm sorry. I should have been Pedro. Yeah. Yeah. So my Pedro stuff on my head. Yeah. So you guys, what are you cooking? Tell, talk to us. What are you cooking today? Yeah, Arthur, what are you cooking? Gina, what are you cooking? We know you're watching. All right. What you got over there? Gina, we were supposed to be in your kitchen today. We were going to have a great time. But no. Gina, she is putting on blast. I'm putting on blast. So who out there has a kitchen that you want us to cook in? Let's see who's going to respond. Don't all respond too fast. <laughs> you guys want the wellness wheel to come live? If you want us to come live to your kitchen, let us know. We'll be there. Tell us what you want. We'll help you meal prep. We're in the helping. But you got to buy the groceries. Yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arthur, might be, Arthur might be a little hungry. Mm -hmm. Probably just worked out today. Hello, Jasmine and Jill. Thanks for checking in. Still waiting. I'm still waiting. What am I doing? All the cooking. Oh. Team member. Team. <laughs> Removing the chicken. That's really hard. <laughs> oh you want to be? You want to be? Ask 
after uh, doing some push, some uh, little squats. Yeah. <laughs> You're all into physical fitness. Oh, that looks great. Looking good. You cut it up the best. You're the best cut up chicken person I know. You know, I try to be. I try to be. Right, right. <laughs> now, you know what? Uh, on YouTube, there's this lady that's so popular. She's hilarious. Uh, but uh, all she does is like cuss. And she oh, has, I know you're oh, talking about. Oh my god. Like, What's her name? She's hilarious. Oh, she is so hilarious. Oh funny. my god. If we had our, our uh, producer here, he would have told us. Man, she cussed up. Now get your dog. <laughs> There's our producer. Oh, our producer. He thinks that he's going to get some of this yummy food. Right. He smells. He I smells just, some I, stuff. I just looked. Did you, did you hear what we were talking about when we said auntie? No, I didn't. I missed oh. that part. Okay. Ooh, but that chicken does look nice. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Good job there, girl. So look at that, man. Yes, yes. Hey. I'm telling you, I man, if y'all ain't following the wellness wheel, y'all are missing out. Follow the wellness wheel. Right. Y'all are missing out, for real. I'm telling you that right now, right? <laughs> follow the right wellness now. wheel on Facebook. Follow them on Instagram. We need to get them on Twitter, but, you know, I'm afraid that they ain't going to get on Twitter like, you know, everybody else. No, Instagram is where it's at, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah, for real. That's you know, right. see, hey, let me tell you something. The wellness wheel is is unlike any other health and wellness show. You think you just get all information. We got comedy in it. You know what I'm saying? Not too many health and wellness shows got comedy, okay? And when you have comedic people just like Sheila and Ebony and myself. No. First of all, what first of all, I had to turn the camera on. Not himself. <laughs> hey, all right. We are the comedians. And let's, let's show the um, people our, um, our aprons. Oh, together? Oh, shoot. Oh. Hey, uh, if, if you flip it around, we can... Uh, oh, can I do it right? Yeah, can I do it right? I ah, ah, it. Ah, see? It's on me now. I'm just kidding. All right, <laughs> here, here are the shirts. No, they're not shirts. They're aprons. The aprons. We do have shirts, though, but yeah. We're aprons because we're cooking. Because we're cooking. All right. Chef. Chef, Chef Dr. EJ. Chef Get Fit Crew. Nurse Sheila. That's right. Yeah. Hey. hey. So our uh, sweet potatoes here are almost done. So that's good. So we're gonna put on our zucchini and our squash here because they don't take long. And we like to preserve that fresh, that crispiness. So we don't want them to, to take a long time or I'm uh, sorry, cook a long time. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil because the pan is kind of drying out just a little bit. Mix this up here. Turn that down just a smidge. Yeah. For your tummy. Mm hmm. Get that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some seasonings in. Like I said, I don't add the amount of seasonings that I add to the chicken because I like the, that freshness, that natural flavor that the sweet potato and zucchini squash come together with, and then. Once I've seasoned it, let it cook down for a little bit, then we'll add the onions in. We don't want the onions to cook too long. We want them to remain a little bit crispy too. Mm -hmm. so. All right, yeah. Nurse Sheila, go ahead. All right. So right now, this is our uh, garlic powder. Um, remember, we don't want to do a lot of salt. So uh, the Himalaya salt, uh, pink salt. Dr. DJ said, has a lot of health benefits, and you only need a little bit. So, here we go. Smells so good already. Yeah. It is my favorite. And um, this color, um, you're always trying to add color to your vegetables. Your vegetables should look like rainbow. Um, <laughs> Just think of just trying to, you know, get rainbow colors. Just don't stick to the same color, green, yellow. And when this here, it's no value in multiple colors. That's right. So we'll let that cook down for a little bit, and then we'll show you guys the finished product soon. I am adding our lovely onions in here. And put them in, like, towards the end. So that you can still have a crunch. So that's what we have. And doesn't that look beautiful? A <laughs> nice color vegetable medley. Medley. Dr. EJ's recipe. I love, love, love this. 
Now, honestly, um, typically what would be good to do is just to cook the zucchini, squash, and onion separately, um, and then uh, sweet potatoes by itself. That way I can control the amount of carbs that I'm getting, so I can actually weigh out the, the, the zucchini, I'm sorry, the sweet potatoes, um, and I can control the amount of carbohydrates that I'm getting as opposed to putting them all together. So if you're really, really tight on your diet and you really want to know how many carbs you get, then you can mix it up after, like weigh it and then mix it up. So that's turning out just fine. Look at that, a nice display. Mmm. It smells, smells good. good. Mm, mm, at the same mm, time. Mm, mm. I said it. You were thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at our chicken, we uh, I turned the eye up a little bit high to get a lot of that excess uh, fluid yeah. off. So it's off now, but I had I turned it up really high to, to get that down. And it'll be uh, pretty tasty. All the flavors will come in together. And yeah. usually day two is really good because all of those seasonings and flavors have settled in. Mm, good marination. Uh, this is the fun part, measuring the food out. Now, typically, I would weigh this out, but I left my um, my scale, so I'm just gonna spitball it really. Um, but typically, I eat about six ounces, but I do not have my scale with me. So this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and you can get this from Sam's Club in a big, big, big pack. So it's just a, a change, really, from uh, the chicken breast to a typical eat. Sleep. And she looks damn good. Oh, no. Yeah, she does. I don't, I don't see mine. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> All right, now we have our nice vegetable medley. My special recipe that I am sharing with you guys. I'd like to get a decent amount of sweet potato in there, too. And typically, I would measure this out too. It's kind of steep there. I'm going to put too much on it, but that's all right. I'm going to go. took us maybe what 
20, 25 minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Look, my containers are ready. So, no excuse, guys. No excuse. You gotta What's your excuse? Nothing. Nothing. And I'm on two hours of sleep. And I you know something? Hours. I ain't working no sleep last night. What'd you say? I'm not gonna go to sleep last night. Yeah. I got work to do. So, get this. Ready for me. Ready for me. All right, what you think? Mm, yeah. You like it? Yes, I do. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. He Mikey likes, likes it. <laughs> Did you really go there? <laughs> Mikey likes it. Hey, Mikey. Yeah. He likes it. He'll eat anything, right? He won't. No, I'm serious. Why don't you How do you anything? guys do no, that? Just about right. anything, but it's good. I'm oh, serious. Well. Yeah. Like, you really have to get some to try this out. There's no excuse. All right, well that's a wrap for us folks, whipping it with the wellness wheel in the kitchen. We have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Uh, the ingredients will be below in the description. Uh, my vegetable medley, my special, if you see anybody else cooking this, is my recipe. My grandmama cooked that. No, she did. Her grandma did not cook that. My grandmama cooked that same meal that yours does. My grandma did not cook that. She stole from my grandma. Anyway, we will have some more recipes, some more healthier recipes. Um, also with that chicken, you can do a ton of things. You can make a chicken pizza with a little wheat pita, I like that, or a quesadilla with some fat-free cheese, about a tablespoon of marinara. That's something that I like to do with that chicken as well. So you can mix it up quite a bit and we'll be showing you guys uh, a few recipes. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to follow us, go ahead, comment, subscribe, like this video. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we're Wellness Will we're doing four. On Facebook, we're Wellness Will. I'm Dr. EJ on, um, what is it, Facebook, and then she is Get Fit. Crew, STL, is that yes. right? Yes. Uh, it's, it's too many words. On Instagram. So stay tuned for more.